one of the question that was asked in the gate economics paper of 2021 was consider the production function y is equal to under root of lk and price of capital is given as 3 and price of labor is given as 2 assume the firm plans to produce six units find optimal level of labor and capital that minimizes cost so we have to solve the cost minimization problem that is we have to minimize minimize the cost of labor and capital our price of capital is 3 so 3 times the amount of capital that is 3k plus price of labor is 2 2 times l subject to the production constraint that is our production constraint is this that is uh, l to the power 1 by 2 k to the power 1 by 2 should be equal to 6 that is we have to minimize the cost subject to the production constraint the constraint here is 6 units so uh, this under root lk should be equal to 6 okay now how do we uh, you, uh, solve this question we could have used the leg uh, uh, method in solving this but we will use the simple shortcut uh, condition that is the tangency condition tangency condition requires that uh, at equilibrium at at equilibrium marginal rate of technical substitution between labor and capital should be equal to the ratio of the input prices that is price of labor divided by price of capital now marginal rate of technical substitution is simply as we know marginal rate of technical substitution between labor and capital is given by the marginal productivity of labor divided by marginal productivity of capital so that means we have to first to find the marginal productivity of labor and marginal productivity of capital now marginal uh, productivity of labor is simply we have to differentiate this very function uh, with respect to uh, l partially so i can write it here k l to the power 1 by 2 k to the power 1 by 2 so differentiating this that means dy by dl should be equal to now first partially differentiating this production function with respect to l this 1 by 2 will become the coefficient 1 by 2 uh, l to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 by the power function rule so this will become minus 1 by 2 and k to the power 1 by 2 similarly marginal uh, productivity of capital means partially differentiating the production function with respect to uh, capital that is equal to 1 by 2 this l will remain same because we are at this time differentiating with respect to capital so this is 1 by 2 k to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 that is minus 1 by 2 so this is our marginal productivity of labor and marginal productivity of capital so the tangency condition is there marginal productivity of labor divided by marginal productivity of capital should be equal to the ratio of the input prices that is pl divided by pk that is at uh, the tangency uh, between isocount and isocostal line the ratio of marginal productivity of labor and capital should be equal to the ratio of the uh, price of labor and price of capital now we have the uh, we have all the variables here so we uh, we can write it here so i will write here uh, this is so i will write here because of the lack of space i will write it here this is 1 by 2 k to the power minus 1 by 2 l to the power 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 k to the power uh, sorry i will write it here uh, of 1 by 2 our marginal productivity of labor is this very function l to the power minus 1 by 2 k to the power 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 l to the power 1 by 2 and k to the power minus 1 by 2 it should be equal to the ratio of the price of labor and capital which is here price of labor is given as that is 2 so i will write here 2 divided by the ratio of uh, price of capital is given as 3 so i will write here 3 
now uh, this 1 by 2 1 by 2 gets cancelled here this l to the power minus 1 by 2 when transposing to the denominator this will become l to the power 1 by 2 so this will become l to the power 1 by 2 times l to the power 1 by 2 that is it will become l to the power 1 by 2 when transposing l to the power 1 by 2 now l to the power 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 this is equal to l so i will write it here if the space allows so here it will become uh, so i will write first k k to the power 1 by 2 when transposing this k to the power minus 1 by 2 so this will become k to the power 1 by 2 we have similarly here l to the power 1 by 2 l to the power 1 by 2 when transposing this negative exponent to the denominator this will become positive so this is l to the power 1 by 2 should be equal to 2 by 3 now uh, uh, k to the power 1 by 2 times k to the power 1 by 2 as you know this is equal to k because base is same we can add the exponents 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 so k divided by l should be equal to 2 by 3 or we can write it here 3k should be equal to 2l that is 3k should be equal to 2l which implies k is equal to 2l divided by 3 okay now we have to put this value in the production constraint so our l to the power 1 by 2 this will remain same l to the power 1 by 2 now in place of k to the power 1 by k in place of k we will write uh, 2 l divided by 3 whole 1 by 2 should be equal to 6 now this can be written as this can be written as uh, we can write it like l to the power 1 by 2 this is under root 2 by 3 uh, under root 3 sorry and l to the power 1 by 2 is equal to 6 now l to the power 1 by 2 l to the power 1 by 2 is l again uh, which is equal to 6 divided by 1 transposing this will get reciprocated under root 3 divided by under root 2 so this becomes 6 under root 3 divided by under root 2 when fractionalizing this will become under root 2 under root 2 so this is 6 under root 3 divided by 2 which is equal to sorry here 3 2s are 6 this is here uh, 6 uh, so this is 2 1s are 2 3s are 6 so this is 3 under root 6 so our optimal level of labor is 3 under root 6 now inserting this value of 3 under root 6 again in this uh, production constraint so our l is 3 under root 6 so we will write 3 under root 6 1 by 2 and k 1 by 2 is equal to 6 now this can be written as uh, k times 3 under root 6 whole power 1 by 2 is equal to 6 now transposing this power will become it will get squared so we have k times 3 under root 6 is equal to 36 now we can write it as k is equal to 36 divided by uh, 3 under root 6 now this is 3 ones are 3 12 is are so we will get here uh, 12 divided by under root 6 or we can write it as uh, 12 divided by under root 6 rationalizing this will become under root 6 under root 6 so this is 12 under root 6 divided by uh, under root 6 into under root 6 is 6 now 6 ones are 6 twos are 12 so we will get 2 under root 6 is our optimal level of capital that means so graphically it means i will wrap it here so we got the value of l is equal to 3 under root 6 and our capital was 
टू अंडर रूट सिक्स ग्राफ के लिए दिस मीन इज इफ दिस इज ऑन हॉर्जेंटल एक्सिस वी हैव एल एंड वर्टिकल एक्सिस वी हैव के दैट मीन इज इफ दिस इज आवर आइसो पॉस्ट लाइन टेंजेंसी कंडीशन रुकर्स दैट द आइसो पॉस्ट लाइन शुड बी टेंजन टू द आइसो कॉन्ट दैट इज दिस वेरी आइसो कॉन्ट सो एट द टेंजेंसी मार्न रेट ऑफ टेक्निकल सब्सटीट्यूशन शुड बी इक्वल टू द रेशो ऑफ द इनपुट प्राइस दैट इज आवर एल इज थ्री अंडर रूट सिक्स एंड आवर के इज टू अंडर रूट सिक्स सो आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट द वैल्यू ऑफ वट वॉज इन द ग्रेट एग्जामिनेशन वट वॉज द प्राइस ऑफ कैपिटल और प्राइस ऑफ लेबर और सिक्स यूनिट बट आई एम श्योर दैट द प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन वॉज दिस अंडर रूट ऑफ एल के ओके आई होप आई मेक माई सेल्फ क्लियर थैंक यू